We do have a lot of new terminology to adjust to in 2020 due to the coronavirus. We mentioned Missouri's positivity rate being 17.9%, but what does that really mean? As COVID-19 outbreaks continue to flare up across the country and the world, the need for coronavirus testing remains urgent and positivity rates are an important part. A positivity rate is the percentage of people who test positive out of all of the tests done. We report the seven day positivity rate. So, for example, in Missouri, of all of the tests done over a seven day period, almost 18% of those are coming back positive. The higher the positivity rate is, the more concerning it is. And on a scale of 100, 18% doesn't seem like a lot. But in May, the World Health Organization set 5% as the threshold for too high. That number is important to officials. They use the positivity rate to measure community spread to determine if enough testing is being done and ultimately decide what kind of mitigation moves need to be made. The higher the number, the more it indicates community spread, the need for more testing, and the stricter the restrictions will be. A low positivity rate, however, means fewer rules. The World Health Organization also recommends the percent positive hang below 5% for at least two weeks before governments consider easing up. According to Johns Hopkins, the U.S. positivity rate started to decline in August after peaking at more than 8%. It ticked below the 5% threshold at the end of September, but in the last week it's risen to 5.1%. Right now, Johns Hopkins reports only 19 states in the country are below that 5% threshold.